Hey everyone, Michelle from energyandbalance.com.au. Thank you very much for joining us. Today we're going to have a look at fluorite. Now fluorite is a beautiful, beautiful stone. It comes in a cubic formation. Its natural formation are octahedrons. Now this is an octahedron. It has is an eight-sided. If you can see that through, it's got eight sides to it. So if you hold it up like that, it's kind of diamond shaped. And then if you go around, if you were to count them, you'd have eight sides. This particular piece I'm holding up there, you can see is banded and has some beautiful colours running through it. Now, fluorite does come in a range of different colours. You can get it in clear. You can get a yellowy colour. You can get green, blue and violety purple. As you can see with this beautiful guy, this turtle that we have here, he's got some yellow running through him. He's also got purple, purple bands through him, and he's wonderful. He's probably, you know, kilo and a half worth, and he is an absolutely beautiful piece. Okay, and this is a much greener piece of it. You can see that. It's got more greens through it, and you do get blue. Blue is probably one of, blue and yellow are the two rarest in it, um, but you can, you can purchase them out there. Pretty much fluorite comes in anything. You can get it in jewellery, you can get it in bracelets, you can get it in rings, you can get it in carvings, you can get it in natural form, tumbled. Um, and it is a very, very versatile stone and it's wonderful to have it around. Not much, historically, not much is known about fluorite up until about the 18th century. Um, and it was considered up until that time to be in the same family as your quartz family. It was just coloured colored quartz. It was first recognised in the 18th um, century as being a mineral of its own and since then it's been known as fluorospar or fluorite, which is what we call it now. What is it for? Fluorite, protective, protective, protective. It also cleanses and it helps to stabilise the aura. So wearing a piece on you or in your auric field is a fantastic way to use it. Um, it also draws negative energy and stress from around you and cleanses you. It's not just negative energy, it also works on your electromagnetic junk that's out there from being in front of computers, mobile phones, anything like that. It cleanses and purifies on all levels. It also helps us to bring everything to order. So in other words, we live in a chaos. We live in chaos. Everything around us that we don't have control over Everything is very chaotic, but it helps you to be able to process that chaos better and really be stable and be more grounded and more centered in everything that's happening around you and be able to just move forward, move through it with it not giving you such a strong reaction. It helps increase your concentration on all levels. So having a bit of fluoride around is a beautiful way for anyone who studies or needs to work and needs to concentrate on something. Um, now, because fluoride is such a strong cleanser, it needs to be cleansed often. So if you've got a piece of fluoride that you wear or, um, or you've got a piece of fluoride that you keep around you, please remember to cleanse it often just so that it's always fresh and right the way through. Now, I'm often asked about my favourite cleansing method and I love, for a quick, easy cleanse recharge, I love to use selenite. So I do have selenite slabs available that you can use and with that you can just get your fluorite and you place it on your selenite and I usually recommend leaving it overnight uh, so that it's nice and fresh and recharged for you to wear again in the morning. Okay, now what chakra does fluorite go with? Fluorite you adjust through to your different chakras. So your purple one and your higher one you're going to use with your third eye and crown chakra and above blue you're going to use with your throat. Um, the green that comes through you're going to use with your heart and the yellow you can pop on the solar plexus. The multicolor ones will work and resonate with any of the colors in them but also this is one of those ones where you use your feel, use your intuition. A lot with stones, that's what I will say to people. If it's drawing you and that's what you need to do, even if it seems really strange, do it. Okay. If you pick up a bit of fluoride, banded fluoride, and it's like, I need to place that on your chin. 
go with it. There could be something happening in there that your body is telling you, work with it and move with it. So when you're using crystals, please always use your intuition and go with it. Trust yourself and move forward. Now, fluoride is a powerful, from a healing sense, is a powerful healer. It's great for teeth, cells, bones. It helps to repair DNA from any damage that might be done. It's also a pain reliever and it's fantastic for nerves, shingles, anything that works along those lines. Okay, applications, how to use fluoride. Oh my goodness. Um, something like a carving can go, this little guy is in my personal collection and he goes at the front door. He goes at the front door to ward off anything that comes through, whether it's negativity, and that's where he sits and where he stays apart from when he's having a nice cleanse. Uh, where else? You can use it in pendants. You can, it loves being in your auric field, a fantastic pendant is beautiful. You can have it on as bracelets. Uh, you can have your natural formations, rough, tumbled, um, a tumbled piece or a natural formation like this in your little mojo bag to take out and use as a hand warmer whenever you feel the need for it. Uh, a beautiful way is to have these guys lined up. Um, I have a laptop and I line them up along the laptop, between the laptop and me, they sit in there beautifully and they just block all of that negativity that comes. So what else? Gazing into it. Now fluorite is one of those stones that is remarkably beautiful and really when you're meditating, meditating, gazing into it to get the insight that you need to move forward, particularly if it's a purple one or banded one, when you're working with your higher chakras. All right. Um, it's also fantastic uh, to use it in gridding for meditations. So placing particularly the points, I, I love the natural formation of these guys, and placing these points around you is going to focus and channel the energy through. All right, I think that about sums up the wonderful fluorite and some of the ways to use it. Uh, please, if you haven't got fluorite in your little bag of tricks, then get yourself some and really start using it because it is a beautiful stone, particularly for protection and cleansing. All right, we do have lots of them available, lots of different sizes and stones available at energyimbalance.com.au and we can post internationally, so please pop on over, have a look at what we've got following the link below and wishing you a fantastic day and wonderful vibration. All right then, thank you, bye.